Hello everyone and welcome back. A Loyally Splendor has had its ups and downs in Destiny, and although it's been nerfed, it's still quite a godly exotic in the right environment. So what do you think will happen if you combine the exotic with another exotic that does the opposite of it? Well, Tommy's and Loyally are a combo that people sleep on a lot, but actually should give it a try in endgame, and in today's video, I'll cover why. By using the build, you'll have a high damage resistance from near all sources, a crazy good weapon that can score Jenny Knight targets without additional mods, a high grenade regen rate which allows you to use the more powerful grenades, and an extra bonus for the build when applying strand. Let's push this further by breaking the build down. To start, you're going to want to have Soul Invictus, where Soul Ability Thunder Blows create sunspots. Your abilities regenerate faster, and Super drains more slower while in it. And then you'll want to have Roar and Flames while Final Blows with Solar Abilities increase the damage of your Solar Abilities. Roar and Flame will play a pivotal role in how strong our melee and grenades can get over time, while Stolen Invictors is what will make our Zotter become 10 times more effective. Uh, looking into the Fragments, Ember Blistering where defeating targets with Solar Ignitions grants grenade energy, Ember Sindering where your class ability will regenerate faster when you score targets, Ember of Shah, where your solar ignition spreads scorts to others, and Ember of Ashes, where you apply more scorts stats to targets. Having the Ember of Shah effect will help with generating our class ability regenerate while operating Tommies in a higher level ending content. Since Tommies can now naturally apply Scorch and Ignite on targets, having the following fragments will help bolster its effects on a much more wider scale, and thus take out the bigger targets with ease. It also means, for example, we can use our solar grenades as the main grenades of choice here, since Ember Blistering will grant energy towards grenades as we play. Overall, the build will allow users to go full metal onto our target and get a wealth of bonuses applied just from Scorching alone. For mods and stats, both Resilience and Discipline will have a huge advantage over the given stats we have chosen this time round. Our Resilience stat is at tier 10 for a 30% damage reduction against enemy groups will also greatly benefit in Lordly's effect of getting us a sunspot. With Valley Barricade selected, we will get a 22 second cooldown with the following active, which means without any additional bonuses towards us that, it will regenerate quite fast, naturally. Having the Absolution mod for a 5% class BG regen and Soul of Victors via our subclass will be enough to support the build from start to finish, and also not leave you vulnerable in the making. Our Discipline is at tier 10 which will grant us a 1 minute 16 cooldown using our solo grenades. Any grenade is fine to pick from here since you're not locked down with selecting a specific grenade, but since we have quite a few bonuses available that will support our grenade regen, we can use the more higher tier type grenades more freely. Outside of Ember Blistering effect, we are also using the grenade kickstart, charged up times 1, absolution, and bomber which all should be enough to grant enough energy back to us when using our solar grenades more often. I would also add the Ashes to Ashes mod to the build so you can garner your super energy fast since the given stat will increasingly benefit the user with how often it will be used. In this section, we'll be covering the armor charges and additional mods. Charged up times 1 will allow us to hold on to more armor charges as we play and collect. Next, adding the Solar Siphon, a Firepower, Reaper and Powerful Attraction mod will make it easier to collect and create all the power around us. Lastly, having Strand Heavy Armor Fighter mods and Reserve will be useful for the Strand weapon of choice that will aid the build. For weapons, we have Tommy's Matchbook, which I found to be a great pairing for Loyally with how opposite the two are. If you want to play a more safer route with the build, then any solar weapon is fine, but using Loyally's with Tommy's will fix the health reducing effect that Tommy's grants, will also increase your damage and longer fires. Not many people like to use such a weapon in the end game, but it's actually quite powerful to use as long as you know how to operate its negative traits. If you understand that, you'll understand the weapon, and the build as well. For Heavy, we have the Circular Logic with Vorpalm and Envious Assassin. The weapon will play a key part with dealing with major and above enemies quickly when the time comes, but ultimately its usage with the Seasonal Mod, Torch, Horde Shuttle, and Unraveling Orbs is where the weapon will shine the most in the build. If you want a solar heavy, then by all means go for it, but make sure you have a strand primer on hand instead for the extra bonuses effect. In terms of balancing out its pros and cons, the given build does provide enough resistance to survive lethal hits as long as your class ability effect is active. 
while at the same time holding enough risk that upon the player uses their weapon to the max, will be rewarded accordingly. This is a combo that has been around since the moment Bungie wanted players to try more risky playstyles instead of the always play it safe route. And honestly, ever since then, it's been a classic for combining the safety of Lawley and risk of Tommies to create something absolutely new. Although Lawley has been nerfed in terms of how fast it can regenerate users' health, it's still in the absolute clutch of an exotic that will benefit the user greatly in endgame environments. In fact, having just the following with a tier 10 resilient stat is probably going to be enough for you to survive most one shot hits from sniper vandals or from being minced from a full auto champion captain, etc. Tommy's, on the other hand, is an odd weapon that not many people want to use in the endgame but should give it a try with a sort of build like this. Although its health drain effect is very risky in the endgame, a Lawley's effect should be enough to counter this as long as you make use of your barricades and also lean heavily into the mods as well. Things like Torch will increase your weapon's damage by 5% as long as you are radiant and deep of targets with strand or stasis effect. Having the unraveling orb seasonal mods with a strand weapon of your choice will allow your Tommies to hit even more harder the longer it goes on for. Simply, Tommies on top of its self-burning effect will receive another bonus to damage as long as we debuff targets with certain effects. And finally, this all comes back to the healing side of the build again, as having Ember of Serial in hand will regenerate a class ability effect and also kickstart a sunspot since Tommies can both score during night when used long enough. The build will pretty much cover the self-healing aspect so well that it's kind of crazy to watch it in real time, especially in endgame, such as Grand Masters. However, I do have one concern with the build, and that is how vulnerable you are while using the Tommies and Lawley together. Since Lawley will only kick in while you're critically low on health, in between that phase and ramping up, if you don't have a spare sunspot while you slowly recover your class ability again, you can get cured very quickly. This is kind of the negative overall when using Tommies anywhere, as it will grant you more damage but with a trade off of less health in the process. Luckily, the build has good natural recovery, and scorching through other means means that we can get our health regen back up quickly within a little time. The overall effect of the build will allow players to play aggressive with a little care to their health, since it will always be regenerated there and then. Although it does pose a risk of players overdoing it, taking great care of using cover effectively will allow you to be trigger happy as long as you like, while being an absolute killer in end game. So there we have it, I hope you all enjoyed the build breakdown. If you have any thoughts on the content shared then please leave a comment below, while at the same time if you enjoy the content or more of these videos in the future, then leave a like and sub out here. I will leave a link for the build below. I have more stuff like this than I have a playlist available covering all types of builds you desire. It was great sharing today's video with you all, and I hope to see you again soon.